I have some good news. I am back in the gym. After three weeks of brutal depression, I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Today is Monday. The tunnel... Interesting. This morning, I just finished filming the video for this week. I also started this morning filming a video for next week and that was going to be it, but I realized that this week I'm getting lots of deliveries and I thought it would be fun to unbox them on camera. So then I was like, why not film a vlog as well? <laughs> you can tell that I feel better because I want to do everything at once. I already had to stop myself from making another video, but I am going to film the unboxing part. So I am going to do the vlog. Before I jump into showing you what I got on the way home from the gym, I just wanted to share these, you know, few things that I, I, I'm back in the gym after, I believe, three, three weeks of not going at all. I feel better. I started, for the most part, eating healthier and better. I think I said that in one of my previous videos, but I am no longer doing any challenges for the time being. I'm giving myself not even my body, more so my mind, a break from following the rules and ticking the boxes and being under pressure of completing the tasks for the day that were a part of the challenge. I'm giving myself a break. I think that part of why I had this whole uh, burnout situation and a meltdown situation for three plus weeks, I want to say, is because I was doing a lot and I had I had to restart the weight loss challenge a couple of times without giving myself a break in between. And I think that my body just shut down. I think there was also something internally happening. I don't know if hormonal, I was noticing some things in my body as well on a physiological level. So I don't know what caused what, if the physiological caused the mental or if the mental caused the physiological or if it was just a coincidence, I have no idea, but you know, that is to say that definitely something was going on. I stopped intermittent fasting. I'm just completely chill about it. Whenever I get a chance, I eat. If I want to eat earlier, I eat earlier. If I go to the gym and it so works out that I have my first meal at one or two, so be it. But I'm not putting pressure on myself. That's it. That's what's been going on. But let me just show you what I got. It's only three things. Okay, so the first thing that I got, it was the night cream. Um, they had a couple of options, none of the brands I knew. I'm going to admit that I bought this one purely for its applicator. It's the Drunk Elephant container. Maybe Drunk Elephant didn't come up with it, but this is where I know it from, this applicator. And I haven't seen it anywhere else. Uh, so you press it here, the product comes out, you can mix it with something if you want to and then you kind of wipe it from this surface and you put it on your face. It's L'Oreal. have no idea if this is a good company. I would normally never go for anything L'Oreal. Don't know why, don't ask me. I believe it was the last one as well. And it had a really good discount on it too. So I was like, okay, it has retinol, um, niacinamide. Don't know what that is exactly, but I've heard it many times. I think it's good. <laughs> So I was like, okay, and it has the applicator and maybe I can reuse it later. I was like, yeah, sold. I'm gonna get it. So that's what I got for my night cream. Next thing that I got was something that I saw girls use on TikTok quite a lot. Um, I don't know if it's the exact same brand. I believe it is. It's this spray. I mean, it's very refreshing. I don't know if I should be putting it on my face. Alcohol, so no. Shouldn't put it on my face or on my skin for that matter. It's on my clothes. It's gonna go on my clothes. Okay, cool. I don't know. It shouldn't go on my face for sure because there's alcohol in it. And then the last thing I got was this pink salt cleansing oil. I like double cleansing, so I thought maybe I should try this. Maybe it's good. I just trust Korean skincare. Maybe a bit too much now that I think about it. I just heard really good things about it, you know? So we'll see. Anyways, 
that's all I got. I have a package. We're going to unbox it. It is raining. It started raining last night and I think it hasn't stopped since, which is fine for me personally. It's chill. It's actually kind of perfect. I had a crazy day yesterday, so today I just want to relax a little bit. I'm still gonna go to the gym and you know, that's the only activity that will require me to leave the house, I guess, but I need to do some editing, so the weather is kind of perfect for that. I actually got this one yesterday, uh, so today is 10th of April. I'm get, I'm confusing myself because I wanted to film it like it was Tuesday, like when I actually received this, but I'm not gonna do that. Today is Wednesday, 10th of April, it's my birthday, so I had to exercise massive amounts of patience not to unbox this yesterday but also at the same time i was so tired and done with yesterday yesterday was kind of not the vibe to open this package so this is from shein okay i am not opposed to shein i know that there is controversy around it i know that some people are opting out of purchasing from shein which is absolutely fine if you're in a position to do that i applaud you i have a dual opinion about that. I can see it from both perspectives. I can see how that could be harmful to the employees and I also can see how that might help. I'm not gonna go into detail here but maybe I'll go into a little bit more detail in my styling seven outfits, the shopping part, because I will be buying. I already started purchasing uh, things for that video specifically for those seven outfits. They have such a big variety of products at a very, like, ridiculously affordable price. So for someone like me who's trying to experiment with things at the moment, I don't want to commit to super expensive jewelry, for example. And I'm buying a lot of jewelry, you will see here as well in this package. I have a mix of different things here. It's not a massive package, as you can see. This is what it's looking like inside. I'm gonna start with the biggest box in here which is the ring light okay so it comes with this here in this bag we have mounts also has some sort of mount and then this is the ring light so you can change the temperature you can change the intensity of light and you can turn it off and on all right so i'm just gonna try to connect everything to show you if i want turn it on so this is warm yeah so the other one was natural this is the brightest probably yeah and then I can make it much more soft and harsher my camera is trying to catch up and then this is cold okay this is this is a bit intense it's exactly what I needed and the size is actually really good so, Ah, this is also a mount. This is actually how you mount it to the table, I think. It's gonna be sturdy, so that's good. So there's this, aha. Uh -huh. So this is here for loosening it up and tightening it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, so this is done. This is where you attach it to the table. You have this long leg, leg that is adjustable. So you can move it in whatever way you want. Honestly, I like it. I really do. I already have something that I purchased on Amazon actually. And it's just, it doesn't work very well for me. So I'm gonna try this out a couple of times and then I will know for sure if I like it or not. If I'm making more types of contents, like podcasts or anything like that, or if I have actual microphone for my videos, this will actually be used a lot. So let's just pull another items. I'm gonna pull two items because they're the same. So I got myself two gel nail polishes. Removable nail polish glue. It says 10 milliliter nude jelly gel polish baby pink. And then the other one is a white gel nail polish according to my cart. Now I don't know if that's what they sent me, so let's see. I'm gonna actually open this one first. All right, so this is what the bottle looks like. It's very cute, actually. I've never had like a bottle with such a long wand. Okay, so let's just open it to see. 
yeah it's that like milky white opaque is, i think is the word i actually appreciate that they say what the shelf life is they say it's three years because sometimes with this kind of products you don't know and then the next one should be quite similar but just pink so again the bottle is very interesting this pinkish i don't know what it's gonna look obviously on the nail i've never tried anything nail related from um shein i've always ordered my um nail stuff from amazon this is a bit spontaneous i decided to do my nails i'm just going to test one or both i don't know i kind of want to test both so let me first test this nail polish i will probably need to do two or three layers probably three so this is one layer one coat okay so this is what it's looking like after two coats so this is three coats and i'm gonna leave it like that now i think i'm gonna do some sort of design so i'm not gonna put a top coat just yet and now we're gonna try the pink one so this is what it looks like we're looking at this nail here so this is what it looks like after one coat and you can see it in comparison with the other ones that don't have any product just i think dehydrator and primer on it, on it you can barely see anything so let's put the second coat this is what it's looking like after two coats it looks like an infection you know i think it's just an unfortunate shade it's not a good pink it's like a red pink i think i'm gonna take it off i don't think i like this i mean decide for yourself if you like colors like that but like if it looked like this it would have been perfect because i love colors like this this one is a no this one is a big big yes so this is what it turned out like i love this color let's reach for the next item oh it's a little box so this is the box and then we have a little bag inside it's really cute actually it looks a pretty good quality i'm not gonna lie so it's like this little bracelet that has this parts that moves up and down to make it tighter and looser that's how you put it on your wrist so this is what it looks like you have these little things hanging off of it which is actually pretty cute it's a very nice little bracelet okay. next thing <laughs> i forgot honestly it's such a random purchase for me i don't wear glasses prescription glasses but i always liked the look and I had this video for a TikTok. It requires glasses, so <laughs> I ordered fake glasses. So it actually comes in a really nice like this little baggie. It opens up like this and then unwraps. Well, no, not unwraps. It opens like this and inside we have a little thing for cleaning. It's not a good quality, I can already tell, but I have many of these, so I don't need this. And then <laughs> the glasses come in. <laughs> comes in a clear package like that and then you know the glasses are just this like simple clear they feel very cheap they're also scratched i can already see it i don't think that you can see the scratches on the camera i will have to look back at the footage to see if you actually can but let's try it on <laughs> okay is it good is it nice does it work on my face let me go see in the mirror. I'm actually curious. I think I can make it work. <laughs> I'll put it back in the bag. And we'll just move on to the next item, okay? All right. The next item, this is actually a necklace. It comes uh, with a little, like a paper thing like that. I think it's supposed to go around it. Like this, perhaps. It's just a very simple necklace. It's on. Let's see what else we have. I'm just gonna pull all of the packages out. Oh, interesting. <laughs> this is why I found the empty bag in the in the beginning of this video because this fell out of it. This is also a necklace. It's this kind of pearl necklace, uh, <laughs> which feels very very cheap. And it's fine, you know, she 
it was probably like two dollars I mean nobody's gonna look at me like up close like this you know <laughs> like in the mirror so far it looks fine I'm gonna see what it looks like on camera because camera and mirror and real life tend to be quite different and this is what I mean by layering like I really want to have more stuff going on here you know what I mean maybe another one a little bit longer the rest of them are bracelets I think that this is gonna look the fakest out of all of them but I don't know let's see actually now that I took it out of the package I don't necessarily think so I actually don't mind it I actually I honestly think it looks alright like it doesn't look bad I think it's fine like I'm looking in the mirror it's probably gonna like go black pretty quickly but whatever and then the next one is actually material it's just a simple skin color <laughs> it just comes apart like that and then you tighten it by pulling the strings and then if you want to make it looser you just pull it like that i'm gonna put it on the same arm that i have this little because they go together i think better ah okay so it's pretty simple to tighten it so it's just like that you can't really see it because it's exactly i think the shade of my skin but you know it's just there for layering again and so now we have three three packages left cute okay this is how it came so as you can see there's lots i think this is the biggest one probably and it's actually really cute like some of them not all of them but this is what like you would expect in sets i have to say i really like this one i'm not gonna go through all of them like detailed like this but i really like this one this is very similar to the necklace so i'm gonna throw this on as well you know what, I'm gonna throw all of them on and then I'll show you what it all looks together. I'm gonna take all of them out. I just wanna see for myself like what they are individually, but I guess I'm just gonna throw them on. <laughs> this is a bit too much now. I should have taken probably the other two off just to show you the set as it comes, you know? But just ignore these two. Yeah, it's really, really cute. I probably, like I said, I would wear it like this. I would probably only wear these pieces and then we have the you know golden moment one two three four pieces so one is like this and i already can see that the other package also has this well, this exact one it has something black on it so it's already getting ruined just from being in the packaging and traveling here so i will not be using this and another one is like this this and i think that this is why i bought this one for this particular one because it goes through like this and closes this one is a bit chunkier and then this one actually reminds me a lot of this one it's just a simple chain one of them just fell off as i stood up I don't want to say that I'm gonna wear it together like that again. I probably will use just one piece out of this, you know? It's too yellow. Um, when I look at it in real life, it's just a little too much. I think the way I had it before, with like different textures and different metals and different colors, like I think that I liked it much more than this. I have the last package. But this one has one two three four five six pieces right off the bat i can see that two pieces are exactly the same as they were in the previous package so actually i take it back this one is a little bit smaller i like this one the third one is very simple it's very small you can barely see it probably on the camera here okay and so this one i just want to see if it has any black on it yeah well it, yeah, it also has, a, it seems like it's maybe the issue with this particular style, but I'm gonna put it on anyways. And then this is a very interesting one. It's like uh, squares connected together. And then the last one is also quite simple. This is what they look like. Okay, so that's it. That's all I ordered. My favorite thing here is probably... I think that I like a few a few pieces from here. I definitely like the very first two bracelets that I put on. These two. What is my favorite thing? Let me think. 
maybe gel polishes but I will have to test them first to know for sure ring light obviously <laughs> I think I like everything honestly I can't even pick one that I like the most if you're curious how much I paid for all of it I just need to convert one sec do you want dollars? let's do it in dollars forty dollars forty three dollars I paid for all of it I just wanted to jump in and give a little update on the jewelry that I got from Shein that I unpacked it's been... when did I unpack it? I think Monday or Tuesday I unpacked that Shein package it, so it's been almost a week now I wore some of the jewelry um, consistently every day since I unboxed it and I just wanted to show you one of the pieces that I wore so this piece here I had the suspicion this would happen but it got much much darker um, in that week that I wore it so I just want to show you other pieces from the same set that it came with okay so I want to just show side by side you see the the color difference and it happened within a week I, I got it for like three dollars maybe less two dollars two and a half dollars so I don't want to say that I'm hugely surprised another thing is that with cheap things like that which are obviously not gold not even gold coated it's just probably some sort of metal with you know spray paint gold you should never put it in the water which is kind of impossible because if you wear it on your wrists you know i wash dishes it gets wet i also took a shower by mistake i forgot to take it to take it off and I by mistake took a shower I think twice with it again I'm not really surprised that it happened it's just a shame because I really like this one um, it was I think one of the prettiest one from the sets these pieces I also wore for a week so this one as you can see it absolutely is the same it looks the same I also took a shower by mistake in it when it comes to metals I think that my conclusion so far would be that it's better to invest in quality in a little bit more expensive pieces but quality pieces when it comes to metal when it comes to gold i don't know what silver looks like on Shein. maybe i will order a couple of pieces just to test to see how silver wears also let me know if you want any of the links for anything that i showed you in this video i will put it in the description if you are interested okay this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you like this video like this video subscribe if you are not yet subscribed i hope to see you next week and until then uh have a wonderful week and i'll see you soon